guys, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to crochet this super simple flower bowl koozie or cozy. It depends on where you live around the world. You're going to say it and spell it differently. But a koozie is basically something that's going to keep your hot stuff hot without burning yourself holding it. Or your cold stuff colder for longer without your hands warming it up. So it's almost that time to get out your slow cookers and your crock pots and microwave those leftovers for days. Now you don't wanna microwave your koozie along with what you're microwaving because then this will get just as hot as your dish. You don't want to defeat the purpose of using this. But yeah, it's super simple and you just need a few things. So for starters, your yarn. Now both of these are peaches and cream. Now this koozie I already made with this yarn and this is a 120 yard skein. So this is what's left. This is also 120 yards. This is brand new, not used. So I'm going to say about 60 yards, maybe less. I don't know. Um, it looks about like half maybe I used to make an entire koozie. So for sure, you're only going to need one of these skeins if you get this size. So peaches and cream, and we're going to do this color for the tutorial. And it's just called bright orange. And it sure is. <laughs> and then if you just wanted this one, it's just white. Um, but yeah, you just want medium weight size four yarn. Just make sure it is cotton yarn. When you use warm stuff specifically, you want cotton yarn. We're going to use the eye 5.25 millimeter crochet hook. And a stitch marker is necessary for this pattern. So I just use safety pins. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your yarn and a darning needle, which is a needle big enough to fit yarn through it when you weave in your tails. So grab all this and we will get started. Okay, the first step is to make a magic ring. So on your left hand, you're going to cup the bottom of your yarn with your ring and pinky. Point out your pointer and middle finger. Take the yarn, wrap it around one time, just these two fingers. Crisscross over, take your thumb, hold down where it's crossed, turn your hand facing up. You can let go of that tail to free these fingers to grab a hold of that yarn. Now take your crochet hook and between these two fingers, go underneath the first loop, over the second loop, pull the second loop to the right, turn your crochet hook facing up, scoot your loop down, hold on to it, Gives you a little bit to get your, hold on, middle finger out. And then this is how I like to hold my yarn when I crochet. I'm going to take my pointer. So my pointer was just like this, kind of holding it down. You can just get your pointer out of that magic ring. And then you can hold on to all of it. So just snug at the top so that you can do the next step, which is to chain one. So go in front of your yarn. Wrap it around one time and take that loop through the next loop on your hook. So through that space. So this is your magic ring and you can pull on your tail right here. Just a little bit and it can close it up to make it more manageable. So the chain one doesn't count as anything. For round one, we are going to do six single crochets into this space right here. So to do a single crochet, you go into the magic ring, go behind your yarn, take that yarn through the magic ring. You have two loops, go in front of your yarn, wrap it around, and take that yarn through both of the loops. For one single crochet. And you're going to mark that teardrop, that top part of that single crochet. You're going to mark it. When you get done with all six and you're going to meet back around, you need to know where that first one is. So it's helpful to just know by seeing where it is. We need five more single crochets. So go into that magic ring, go behind your yarn, take that yarn through the magic ring. You have two loops, 
go in front of your yarn, wrap it around one time and take that yarn through both of the loops. And just do that four more times. Okay, after you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this tail and it's going to close it up all the way. Where your stitch marker is, is where we're going to go into to do our next stitch of the next round. So we're not doing slip stitches, we're just going to work in a spiral. So you need to know where that first stitch of every single round is going to be when you meet back up with it. So for round two, we're going to do two single crochets in every single stitch. And we're just going to start our two single crochets in the stitch where the stitch marker is. So take your stitch marker out, keeping track of that stitch. So there's two loops to go under. I'm going to grab my yarn go into that stitch. So you just go under the top two loops. Sometimes it can be snug and then do your single crochet. So go behind your yarn, take that yarn through the stitch. And then you have your two loops, go in front of your yarn, wrap it around and take that yarn through these two loops. And you wanna mark that stitch So when you meet back up with it, you'll know how to, where to go into for round three. And in that same exact stitch, you want to do a single crochet. So right where you just did a single crochet, go back into the same stitch and do another one. So go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch. You have your two loops, wrap the yarn around, pull that yarn through these two loops. And then you're going to do that in every single stitch. So you had six single crochets. Now you're going to have 12 because you're going to put two in each of them. So go into the next stitch and do two single crochets. Go in the same stitch and do another one. And then just do that all the way around. And your last stitch is gonna be right before the stitch marker. It blends right in when you work in a spiral this way. Or you can just count. So when you get to 12, your next stitch should be that stitch marker. So I will finish this round and meet you in a second. Okay, I have my 12 single crochets and the very next stitch is where my stitch marker is. So this is what should happen every time you get to the end of your round. So again, we're gonna go right into this stitch and do round three. So take your stitch marker out. So for round three, we're gonna do one single crochet in that stitch. and mark it and then you're going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochets in the same stitch so one go back into the same stitch and do two and that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. You're gonna do one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next, all the way around. And you're gonna have 18 single crochets for this round. So go into the next stitch, do one. And then 
and then in the next stitch do two all the way around okay after you have your 18 stitches that very next stitch should be your stitch marker so take it out and we will do round four so for round four we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches so one in each of them so one single crochet one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next and then one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets in the next so in that very next stitch start with one and mark it and then do one single crochet in the next and then two single crochets in the next in the same exact stitch and that is the repeat one single crochet in the next one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next you're going to have 24 stitches for this round that very next stitch should be your stitch marker so take it out and then we will start round five so for this round we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two in the next so go into that first stitch do your one single crochet and mark it go into the next stitch do one single crochet and the next stitch and do one single crochet and then in the next stitch do two single crochets in the same stitch and we're going to do that again one 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 and two and you're gonna have 30 single crochets for this round okay I'm back at my stitch marker so I'm gonna take it out and to start round six we're gonna do one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two in the next all the way around so in that very next stitch do one single crochet and mark it we need three more so go into the next stitch for our second go into the next stitch for our third and then go in the next stitch for our fourth single crochet and then go into the next stitch and then do two single crochets and then do one 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 two again all the way around two three four and then do the two in the next stitch you will have 36 stitches for this round okay I'm back at my stitch marker so for round seven we're gonna do one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two in the next so go into that first stitch just do one single crochet and mark it go into the next stitch do a single crochet go into the next stitch for three go into the next for four and then go in the next 
for five single crochets. Now go into the next and do two. And you're just going to repeat that. So go into the next five stitches and do one single crochet and then go into the next and do two all the way around. And you're going to have 42 single crochets for this round. Okay, I'm back at that stitch marker. <laughs> what else is new? So for round eight, we are going to do just one single crochet in every single stitch. No two in the next at some point. So just one in all of them. And you had 42 single crochets. You're going to have 42 single crochets again. And then just do one in every single stitch. Super easy round. Now for round nine to round 13, we're gonna do a little bit differently. The previous rounds, we were keeping our two single crochets in the same stitch in the same spots. And if you can tell, there are some lines so it'd be like you cut a piece of pie in six places. So it's a hexagon. So for these next rounds, we're still gonna increase, but we're gonna scoot um, our two and one stitch in a different area. So for round nine, 11, and 13 is where you're able to cut the number in half. So we finished, so not round eight, because I was just one single crochets, Round seven, we did one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two in the next. And we're gonna pick back up and do six single crochets and two in the next. But since six can be divided, we're gonna do three single crochets just right here at the beginning. And we're gonna finish with three single crochets. That's gonna be our group of six because we're still gonna do two in the next, but it makes our two in the next be right here versus right here where there is a point of our hexagon. So we're gonna get a point right here instead of right here. And then because our two in the next will be right about right here, our next two in the next will be here again. So it's gonna be between the hexagon points. So there's only a couple rounds that are gonna be um, different. So just to start out, let's take our stitch marker out of that stitch. And we're gonna do our three single crochets just for the beginning. So do one single crochet there and mark it. And then do one single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next. That is our three and then do two in the next. And this is just for the beginning. So now do your six single crochets and then two in the next. And you're gonna continue that till you have three single crochets at the end. Two, three, four, five and six and now do your two in the next in the same exact stitch so continue the six single crochets and then two in the next again and go all the way around and I will meet you towards the end and you should have three stitches left. Okay, I'm all done doing my groups of six single crochets and two in the next. And you can see I have one, two, three stitches left. And those three stitches right here and the beginning three stitches is my group of six with the two in the next. So you just need three single crochets right here. Super simple. So one, 
two, and three. And now you should have 48 stitches for that round. Now for round 10, we need to do seven single crochets and then two in the next, but we're not gonna do it like the round we just did. We can't divide seven. We're not gonna do anything with that number. Just do seven single crochets. So start in the next stitch and you need seven total. So that was one, two, three, and then do two in the next. Just like that. So seven single crochets and then two in the next. And you're gonna do this all the way around. Nothing else fancy, just one single crochet and seven stitches and then two in the next. You're gonna have 54 single crochets for this round. Okay, so for the next round, we are gonna do eight single crochets and then two in the next, but you can divide eight in half so we're going to do four single crochets at the beginning and at the end only. So take out your stitch marker, do your four single crochets, marking your first one. And four, and then do two in the next. Now you're gonna do eight single crochets and then two in the next. You're gonna do that five times. So one single crochet in the next eight stitches. And eight and then do two single crochets in the next so just repeat doing one single crochet in the next eight stitches and then two in the next five total times and you should be left with four single crochets here at the end okay I'm done with my five groups of eight single crochets and then two in the next so I have one, two, three, four stitches left, and that's what you should have. Those last four stitches and the first four stitches is your group of eight single crochets with two in the next. So you just need one single crochet in these last four stitches to finish this round. And four. And you're gonna have 60 stitches for that round. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. So for this next round, we're gonna do nine single crochets and then two in the next, and we can't divide nine in half. So this round is gonna be really simple. You're just gonna do nine single crochets and then two in the next. And you're gonna do that six times. Do your nine single crochets. So I'll see you in a second. It's a little bit longer. And then do two in the next. In the same exact stitch. Loves making me look bad. Okay, so nine single crochets in one stitch and then two in the next. Nine single crochets in one stitch, two in the next, 
all the way around. And you're gonna have 66 single crochets for this round. Okay, to start round 13, which is that final round of these increases, we are going to do 10 single crochets and then two in the next, but we can divide 10 in half. So we're gonna do five single crochets first to start round 13. Okay, I just need four more. Two, three, four, and five, and then do two single crochets in the next. And this is just to start out the round, so this is not the repeat. So now the repeat is doing 10 single crochets and then two in the next. And you're gonna do that five total times and you should be left with five single crochets. So I'll do my 10. And 10 and then do two single crochets in the next. So just continue doing 10 single crochets and then two in the next until you're left with five stitches and I will meet you there. Okay, I finished my last group of 10 single crochets and two in the next and I have my five stitches left. So all you're gonna do is one single crochet in each of them to finish this round. And you're gonna have 72 single crochets total. And one more. Okay, these next six rounds, um, round 14 to round 19, are going to be the easiest part um, crocheting this koozie. So it's really simple. You're just going to do one single crochet in every single stitch every single round so no increases no two in a certain stitch just one single crochet in every single one and you had 72 single crochets for round 13 the round we just did you're always going to have 72 single crochets do one single crochet there and mark it and you're still going to do this for every round and just do your one single crochet in every single stitch. Nothing fancy. Super easy. So I'll just leave you to do all these rounds. So have fun crocheting this part of your koozie and I will see you after I have also completed my six rounds. Okay guys, I have my 19 rounds. We are almost done. We just need one more round. So it's gonna go from this to this in one round. We're gonna get our flower petal shape. So we're gonna do a couple different stitches and repeat six steps. So we're gonna do six steps and then do that 12 total times. So take out your stitch marker and step one is gonna be one single crochet in that stitch. Okay, so step number two is do one half double crochet in the next stitch. So wrap the yarn around first, then go into the stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around and pull that yarn through all three of these loops. Now step three is gonna be four double crochets all in the next stitch. So four separate double crochets, but in the same exact stitch. So wrap the yarn around first, then go into the next stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch, 
you have your three loops. Wrap the yarn around and pull that yarn through the first two loops. You have two more loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around and pull that yarn through the last two loops. And you're going to do that three more times in the same exact stitch. So wrap the yarn around first, go into your stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull it through the first two loops, then wrap the yarn around and pull it through the last two loops. Two more times. One more time. Okay, step four is do one half double crochet in the next stitch. So wrap the yarn around, go into the stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch. You have your three loops. Wrap the yarn around and pull that yarn through all three of these loops. Sometimes I have to pull it through the first two and then like kind of turn my work to get it through that last one. Okay, step five, in the next stitch do one single crochet. And then step six is do a slip stitch in the next stitch. So a slip stitch is where you go into the stitch first, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch, and take that loop through the next loop on your hook. Just like that, and that is your first flower petal. We just need 11 more. So I'll do it with you again. In the next stitch, do one single crochet. That's step one. In the next stitch, do one half double crochet. Sorry, I think I'm getting a shadow. In the next stitch, do four double crochets. three, and four. In the next stitch, do one half double crochet. In the next stitch, do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, do a slip stitch. For two flower petals, I'll do it one more time with you guys. Okay, step one, do a single crochet in the next stitch. Step two, do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Step three, do four double crochets into the next stitch. Two, 
to three. And four in the next stitch, do a half double crochet. In the next stitch, do a single crochet. And in the next stitch, do a slip stitch. Just like that. And you're gonna have 12 total petals. Now we just need nine more. So just keep doing that over and over and over and you should literally work up to your stitch marker. It should work out perfectly. So hopefully have fun doing these flower petals and I will see you there. Okay, I made it all the way around. My next stitch is that stitch marker. So you should end with your slip stitch. That's how it should work out. Now all you have to do is pull on your yarn and cut off enough to weave in. You don't need a ton. You should probably hand wash these, so I wouldn't recommend putting these in the washer. If you do put items in the washer, that's when you need a long tail so that it doesn't unravel. And you can take your stitch marker out because you are completely done. You don't need it anymore. So now I'll just weave my tails in off camera. Pretty much you just put it on your needle and find some stitches. So since this is the side that you see, I would leave this tail underneath. So flip this upside down and then weave it in. You wouldn't want to weave it in on a petal because this is how you see. The view is up here. So I'd rather go under the petals and on the underside. Now this doesn't matter. Your bowl is going to sit here. It can be um, on the side you see. Just weave in your tails really well, so I will do that and I'll be back. Okay, I wove in my tails, so now let's test it out. Should still fit perfectly, it's the same exact pattern. How stinking cute. And this is for a flared bowl, so it just fits it perfectly. It fits the shape, just flared out. If you have a straight bowl, um, it'll still fit, but you can't make a straight bowl design and then expect a bowl like this to fit, if that makes sense. If you want to take it a step farther, you can always double it up. It'll be super thick. You can definitely hold something hot with that. I really hope you guys love this pattern and have fun crocheting your flower bowl koozies. Bye crochet friends.